Hello and welcome to Dialog. What we are doing today is looking at inexpensive cameras which are worth from $50 to around $1,000 mark. These are your basic entry level cameras and they will have varying levels of functionality I guess you could say. The cameras we are going to be looking at today include the Snapsights SS1000, the Aquamate flexible housing, the Panasonic Lumix waterproof camera and the underwater housing for the Canon G15 which is what I currently use for my diving. The Snapsights SS1000 is a very cheap not particularly high resolution camera. As you can see the SS1000 is a very small camera compared to my hand here and it is basically your, your definition of a underwater cheap expendable camera. It cost me around fifty dollars when I bought it um, and it take and it goes down to 40 meters which is not a bad distance for such a cheap camera. It runs on two standard AAA batteries and uses a a maximum of two megabytes micro USB. The SS1000 to my knowledge is no longer sold, however there are always similar things on the market. I took mine to 30 meters on the ex-HMAS Hobart and it was operational at 30 meters. It took poor photographs however due to a slow ISO and a lack of flash. As you can see everything is a certain shade of blue, you cannot get anything other than blue at any kind of depth with that camera. Uh, the camera, however, is great for snorkeling pool on the beach, uh, and it works at 40 meters, but it does not take very good photographs. The second that we'll be looking at is the Aquamate flexible housing, as you can see here. This housing is rated to 20 meters of depth, and you buy one of three models depending on what model of camera you have. These photographs were taken with the Aquamate housing with a Canon X-Slim inside. The Aquamate housing currently retails for around $20 to $25 as it was when I bought it several years ago and it is also currently advertised only to a depth of 10 meters. I've taken it to 20 meters however that camera, camera was not operable past around 6 meters and clearly water pressure would crush it at some point as it is not a pressured vessel. The flash you cannot use with this particular model, uh, particularly at depth, as the flash interferes with the housing itself. So you get a lot of backlight coming off of it and it just ruins every single shot. Hence, the only light you're going to get using this is going to be sunlight. However, you can use your own camera in it and it takes much better shots because you can adjust your own settings. Also, you cannot operate sliding and turning buttons for obvious reasons. You can only push and push out. And at depth, everything is just squeezed in, which is one of the reasons why it doesn't work. One of these housings does make any camera splash proof and immersion proof. So it's great for snorkeling, beach and the pool. There's also many more models for smartphones, tablets, DSLRs, CB radios, and so on and so forth. So it is a great product, but it is not very well suited to scuba diving. Thirdly, we have the Panasonic Lumix camera, which is rated to a depth of 3 meters. I believe newer models are rated to up to 6 meters. Now, the Panasonic Lumix series is getting high-end for compact cameras, retailing at between $300 and $600, depending what model you choose. I had the Lumix in the Aquamate for the more at-depth shots of me in the Great Bay Reef being shown, and so the limits from before were apparent. When I removed the case to snorkel, it was a much better experience. I could focus properly, zoom and change settings, and you can see the quality difference in these photos. The seals held and have continued to hold, and it's worked well. They're great surface cameras. And finally, we have the underwater housing for the Canon G15 which is basically at the point where you're starting to enter into your serious dive cameras. A Canon G16 costs $400 and the housing $300, making the total investment around $700. A proper underwater housing for whatever camera you choose is a must if you want to take good underwater photos. Currently the most trendy camera to take diving seems to be the Canon G series, and for some good reasons. It's a compact DSLR, so with a bit more bulk than a compact, you'll also get full SLR control. 
It also has great underwater settings, allowing control of focus, compensating for blue outs, and allowing under and over exposure. There is a flash disperser on the housing, allowing good close range flash shots without an external strobe. In short, this is among the best and most practical cameras to use underwater and is only limited by the power and position of its flash. External strobes and torches can be attached, which we'll go into in a later video. Showing on your screen are some videos and photos from my recent trip to Pamutaran in Bali taken with the G15 in its underwater housing. I have used no strobes and I think I get a pretty good result. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe and if there are any questions, you can put them to me in the comments.